What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video, in this video I want to talk about geometric series. So in the previous video we discussed arithmetic series, in this video I want to talk about geometric series and give you some examples. Geometric series is a sum of the terms of the geometric sequence. You remember when we are dealing with the geometric sequence we have a common ratio. And the term is going to be a, a times r, a r squared, a r cubed, and so on to a r n to the power of negative 1. So, the second term divided by first term is going to be r, third term divided by second term is going to be r as well, and so on. So the common ratio is r. We divide. So the sum, s n, is a plus a r plus a r squared plus a r cubed, and so on. If you add them all, get to this equation. Sn equals to a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. Or we can say Sn equals to the n plus 1, uh, first term minus t1 divided by r minus 1. So let's see some examples right now. So calculate the sum of the first six terms of the following geometric series. First one I have is 6 plus negative 18 plus 54 and so on. Or you can say 6 minus 18 plus 54 and so on. So the formula was Sn equals to n times a to the power of r minus 1 divided by r minus 1. So what is r? r is the ratio, negative 18 over 6, so that's negative 3. Then this is r to the power of n. r to the power of n minus 1 times a. So a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. a is the first term, 6. And n is 6 again because we are dealing with 6 terms. So S6 is going to be 6 times negative 3 to the power of 6 minus 1 divided by 6 minus 1. Uh, R is negative 3, negative 3 minus 1. So that's going to be negative 4. So let's find out negative 3 to the power of 6. That's 729 minus 1. So 729 minus 1 is 728 times 6 divided by negative 4. It is going to be negative 1092. That's going to be the sum of the six terms. Now, in this example, let's see how to find it here. So, again, the formula is Sn a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1. What is our common ratio? 50 divided by 100. That's going to be half. A is the first term, which is 100. So, and S6, because we are looking for the sum of the first six terms. So, 100, 0.5 to the power of 6, minus 1 divided by 0.5 minus 1. So, that's going to be 196.875 this is going to be the answer next one 1 over 3 plus 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12 and so on so again we want to find out the sum of the first six terms r is 1 over 6 divided by 1 over 3 which is 1 over 6 times 3 over 1 that's going to be 1 over 2 a is 1 over 3 n is 6 so s6 is going to be 1 over 3 1 over 2 to the power of 6 minus 1 1 over 2 minus 1 So that's going to be negative 
0.328125 divided by negative 0.5 it's going to be 0 0.65625 that's gonna gonna be the sum of the first six terms. Next one is gonna be seven twenty one. 63 and so on so the first six terms so a r to the power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 a is 7 n is 6 r is 3 so s 6 equals to 7 3 to the power of 6 minus 1 3 minus 1 so 7 times 3 to the power of 6 is 729 minus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 which is 2 so that's going to be 728 times 7 divided by 2 so that's going to be 2548 another one 1 1.3 2.6 5.2 and so on so sn again a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 a is 1.3 r is the ratio 2.6 divided by 1.3 is going to be 2 n is 6 so we have s 6 equals to 1.3 r to the power of n 2 to the power of 6 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 so we have 2 to the power of 6 minus 1 times 1.3 that's going to be 81.9 that is the sum of these terms Next, 3 minus 9 plus 27 minus 81 and so on. The first six terms, so n is 6, a is the first term, which is 3, r is the ratio, negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3, or 27 divided by negative 9 is negative 3. So sn is going to be a times r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 so that's going to be 3 times negative 3 to the power of 6 minus 1 over negative 3 minus 1 so we have 3 7 to 8 divided by negative 4 and negative 5 4 6 Next example, we have 4 over 5 minus 8 over 15 plus 16 over 45. So the ratio is negative 2 over 3. A is 4 over 5. N is 6. So S. 6 equals to 4 over 5 negative 2 over 3 to the power of 6 minus 1 over negative 2 over 3 minus 1 so s6 is going to be 4 over 5 2 to the power of 6 is 64 over 3 to the power of 6 is 729 minus 729 over 729 negative 2 over 3 minus 1 is negative 5 over 3 
it's gonna be this so let's calculate it 0 0.8 times 6 is 5 divided by 729 and divided by 5 divided by 3 is gonna be 0.4379 if you round it to four digits after the the small point so that's basically how you find out the sum of the geometric sequence or geometric series i hope you enjoyed this video please leave me a comment if you have any question and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you for watching and have a great day